Hi guys, today I'll be showing you why a concrete saw will not start. What I've got here is a Husqvarna K760 chop saw. And this thing won't even sputter or do anything to want to start. So I have a good idea what it is. I believe that the engine is blown and I think that the piston and cylinder are scored as well. And the reason I believe that's the problem is because the compression is really low. You can pull it over very easily. Now before you write off a saw like this, you want to make sure that the decompression valve is working properly. You have to absolutely make sure that the valve is pulled out. And if the compression still feels low like it does now, then it's good to verify that by removing the muffler. And that's why I'm going to remove the muffler, look at the piston and rings, and see also the condition of the cylinder walls. So to get at the muffler, I'm going to remove the blade. And you need to remove the four T27 torque screws that hold the recoil on. And now there's four T27 torque screws holding the muffler, two up top, one here, and one down back here. And the one screw that was supposed to be back here is actually missing. So I've got the saw tilted here so that you can see inside and it is all scored as suspected. I'll just turn the flywheel so you can see the whole piston there. And the damage I'm talking about here is all the lines you see on the piston and you can see that the rings are damaged as well. So this is a common occurrence on concrete saws or chop saws like this. This may usually be caused by not replacing or cleaning the filters as often as you should. It can also be caused by not having enough oil in your fuel. And another thing that can cause this is overheating. Now it is a bit hard to show you inside the cylinder walls because of lighting issues, but if you can see in there, there is deep scoring at the back of the cylinder on the carburetor side. So the only way to really repair this properly is to replace the cylinder, piston and the rings. However, you do need to check to make sure that your crank bearings are still good before you do that. And this saw here will never start with a scored piston and rings like that because the compression is way too low. Now I took the cover off here to show you the air filter. As you can see it was highly due to be replaced, but at this time it's a bit too late. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, not replacing the air filter is the biggest culprit to cause this problem on the saw. So at this point, I would highly discourage somebody from repairing the saw. If you're in the business, you're just better off to go buy a new one sometimes. So the point I'm making today, guys, is check your filters often and maintain your chop saws. Thanks again for watching and have yourselves a great day.